and that's what I bought. That's just basically a bunch Pearl of bees Jim. in a box with a queen and some syrup. And they're just calling out names and people are picking them up and taking them off in their cars. I finally got mine, put them into the back of the truck and strapped them down for the trip. All right, in just a minute we're going to go out to the metropolis and I'll put on my veil and I wanted to tell you what we're going to see. Uh, the way I install the bees into a hive is first set up the bottom board on the hive, then the body, then stack a bunch of frames in, but leave about three frames out. And then I will spray down the package with the bees in it with sugar water to get them all busy licking the sugar water off of each other and grooming themselves and eating the sugar water and getting all loaded up on sugar water which makes them very docile. And then you'll see me shake the box down and then I will pull the can out. There's a can of, of candy in there or sugar water, syrup, whatever the uh, company uses that sells the bees uh, to feed the bees on their voyage to me. And um, so I'll pull that can out and then I will pull out the bee cage and the bee or the queen cage. And the queen is in her own little tiny cage by herself with a little screen on it so you can see her walking back and forth. And there'll be a few bees on the outside trying to attend to her. And I'll pop out the little cork on one end that has some candy in it. And then I'll hang that cage inside the brood box between a couple of frames. I'll wedge it in there. And um, then I will take the rest of the package and shake it all in. And all the bees will fall down in between the frames and on top of the frames. They'll start working their way down into the inside of the brood box. And then over the next few days, the bees on the outside of the queen cage will eat through that candy and make their way into the queen. And because it takes three or four days to do that, they will start getting used to the smell of the queen and they hopefully will then accept her if they've had a chance to spend some time smelling her, realizing that she's the only queen they've got. So by the time, technically, theoretically, and usually, by the time they eat their way through the candy to get into the queen to let her get out, they will accept her. She will immediately start looking for places to lay eggs. Now in the meanwhile, all the worker bees that are in there that are supposed to be making honeycomb will uh, start making honeycomb. Now where do they get their nectar? Um, the last thing that I do is I set a pollen patty on top of the frames. It's a couple of pieces of wax paper with some nice gooey stuff in between that's a protein made of who knows what, but it's a protein patty. So I set that on top and so the bees can come up and they can nibble on that and that will give them the equivalent of the nectar that they would find from the flowers. Then I'll put on top of that a feeder and I will fill that uh, with sugar water and it's got some little wooden floats in there so that the bees can walk around on the wood and won't have to try to stand on the water which usually ends up drowning them. So they'll be able to get all the sugar water that they need which will be their substitute for nectar and they'll get their protein patty which is their substitute for pollen. And so that should help them to start drawing out some comb in those frames that are in the hive. And then the last thing I do is put the cover on top of it. Make sure that the entrance has been reduced to a little tiny hole so that they can defend their hive against any flies or wasps or whatever might try to invade the hive um, because they'll all have to come through a little tiny hole. And then uh, there'll still be some bees left in those packages so I set the packages on top so that they can wander out and they can eventually find their way into the, the correct hive. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So let's go out and do it.
good soaking with sugar water. So there's the queen inside her little cage. And now what we're going to do is we're going to set this to the side. We're going to suspend the queen in here after removing this little cork that allows them access to the candy. We're going to suspend this in here like that between two frames. Like that. Half of one of these patties on top. There. Now we're just going to shake all the rest of these bees.
have hive number one.